I've got three pots that I'm ready to ready to fire. And I've got this is my larger pot. This is a kind of a carinated, I believe it's I believe it's called. It's basically just a round pot and it's got a bit of a raised lip on it and then a, just a, a little design on here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, engrave a design on the outside of the rim. So I've got that one. I've got just a little a little seed pot. Nothing nothing fancy on that. I'll probably seed pots normally weren't uh, engraved or designed on, but I'll probably do a little design on this one. I've got kind of an effigy type pot. I've got a red uh, it's gonna be a red red macaw. I've got the design on one side, or the, the head on one side. I got a tail on the other side, and got it up uh, burnished, burnished good on the on the inside and on the outside. So we'll go ahead and put these up by the fire and let them start warming up. The sand's already starting to get warm. Right here, where the the heat's getting to it, so we'll let those warm up and keep adding wood. Ooh, warming up good. Keep turning them so they get even heat. in here pretty close now these are pretty good and warm it won't be long we're getting ready to spread those coals out and, and we'll go ahead and move these into the middle okay the fire's kind of burning down a little bit we're going to go ahead and spread these coals out put our pots in the middle and start putting uh, some wood back on it. Uh, I got some good coals right there. Ooh, that's warm. I've got some oak here that I brought from the house. Gosh, my pants are hot. I'm gonna put a couple pieces in the middle of each pot. Whoa, wait. I know this oak will burn hot, so it'll help uh, make sure we got a good, good fire going inside. I won't burn my camera. Whoa, we. And this last one, I'll just set him. Okay, now we'll 
start just putting some more wood on top and let's get the fire going. All right, we got the fire burning. Got the fire burning good and hot. We'll go ahead and let that burn on down quite a bit. Then uh, we'll cover them up and blacken them. And we'll give it a little time and then we'll dig it out and see what we got. Okay, we got it burned down pretty good. We're going to go ahead and uh, cover it up and turn the pots, uh, pots dark. And once we get it get it covered up, we'll go ahead and let it sit for a while and cool off before we dig them out. Okay, that's pretty well. Pretty well covered. Now I just sit uh, sit back, give it 15, 20 minutes or so, and and we'll ease it out and see what uh, see what we get. Okay, it's been long enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and dig into this mound by hand I kind of know pretty close to where they're where they're at I don't want to use the the shovel There's the rim. One pot. It's good and hot. Looks pretty good. Sounds good too. There's the seed. He got kind of filled up with sand. Boy, it's still hot though. He sounds good too. Now, let's get down here and see if we can find the macaw. There's the tail. Here's the head. Okay, Whew, it's hot. All right, we'll let them cool off a little bit and then we'll get a better look at them. Well, in place the way they came out, they didn't uh, get as dark as I wanted to. I probably should, put, should have put some more uh, 
a light wood on it right before I covered it. That would have helped put some more carbon in there. But I mean, it's got a good ring. So I mean, they fired. They fired good. So now we'll uh, take them home and clean them up a little more and do a, a little engra engraving on them. Turned out good, none of them broke, so that was the main thing.